Welcome back, everyone. With Hurricane Irene gratefully gone, Hampton Roads is turning to the efforts to clean up. Yeah, good riddance. Ten on your side's Pat Dowd spoke with residents in Portsmouth this afternoon about their experience. Here are their stories of thanks for what might have happened but didn't. Margaret Tilson is thankful she has no damage from falling trees. Just cleaning up all the debris and uh, picking up, you know, bagging it and getting it ready so the city can take it away. <laughs> she is keeping her eye on the lot across the street where workmen are clearing debris. Part of the tree fell down and uh, I heard this big boom, you know, Saturday and uh, it just came right on down. The tree in the empty lot belonged to the United Church of Christ, which is on the opposite corner. Yeah, you can see there's a big, quite a bit of tree there from where it spit off from Pastor the, uh, Charles Curry is also uh, thankful. Uh, thankful no one was injured next door. And for safety reasons, we wanted to make sure that uh, we, we cut that off so in addition to it wouldn't hit the uh, house, but also for the safety of the uh, residents who a lot of little kids, uh, a lot of time are playing here. And lastly, Scott Hardison is thankful he isn't showing us massive damage to his apartment house in Old Town Portsmouth, as he did during the Nor'easter storm two years ago. The uh, roof stayed on the building this time, so no structural damage and internal flooding in the building. But if we could find out uh, how to keep the river out of Old Town, we'd be in good shape, because we still had significant flooding in, uh, in the basement here. A gasoline pump took care of that. Hardison points to where the water rose around his property. Not as high as the nor'easter, uh, but uh, just about where Isabel was. He now keeps his air conditioners on a raised platform out of harm's way. Pat Dowd, 10 on your side.